Up until now, Starlink dishes pick one satellite and they use it for 15 seconds straight as it tracks across the sky. Even if that means the satellite goes behind an obstruction and you end out with no internet for a couple seconds, all that just changed with the new upgrade. Let me show you how. You have your Starlink dish on the ground and inside it's really a phased array. We talked about this before. There's actually a thousand little antennas inside and it delays the signal coming in on different antennas to simulate pointing a beam at that satellite going straight up, pointing this way. By adjusting these timings in software, you can track a satellite as it goes across the sky. Every 15 seconds, every Starlink in the world picks a different satellite. But what happens if you have an obstruction? What if you're on the beach under a palm tree? That's my best palm tree. Well, what happens is it, it tracks the satellite until it goes behind and now you've just got no internet until the 15 seconds is up and it picks the next satellite. Well, under the new system, big upgrade to the software, it can track tens of satellites and exactly what timing settings it would have to load in software in order to switch to that satellite or that satellite as it goes by. Starlink now has more than 8,000 satellites in orbit, which means everyone on Earth can see a couple different Starlink satellites. So now your Starlink dish at the beginning of the 15 seconds picks its top choice satellite and it tracks that one using it for internet, but it's also tracking the other satellites. The second this top choice satellite goes behind the tree, uh-oh, it can in a tenth of a second change its settings to connect to this satellite and continue your session there. So obstructions like trees, nearby buildings, none of this stuff affects you anymore. You just get much better internet through your Starlink. Now, what if you want more bandwidth? Can you use two of these satellites at the same time? The only way to do it is still two Starlink dishes and they'll each track different satellites as they go across the sky. But to combine them, you need something like Speedify to put together the signals and give you the combined speed of the two put together. Subscribe for more stories on connectivity and security.